Welcome back to the Green Turtle Classic. Sid Zweigbaum from SFMSports.net here with Mustangs head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, you guys win 11 to 9 tonight over Cortland. How big was it for you guys to get out to a great start? Well, it was big because we haven't been out to a great start in a little while, you know, so it was good to get out and get it going early. That was a big thing. We wanted to play together and play with confidence early on, you know, so I think we did a much better job of that. I think the guys are learning how to play together a little bit. I think, you know, sometimes a little bit of humble pie and those two losses back to back really got straightened the guys up a little bit. Might be what we needed. I thought we played tougher. You know, I thought we did some good things. Uh, better off getting off to that good start. And we, you know, we held on in the end there a little bit. One of the things you talked about heading in the locker room was everybody moving, the ball moving, players yep. moving. Um, you know, easy to say guys move, but how did it happen tonight? Well, I mean, that's, we, you know, we run a motion offense. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And when you stand still, it doesn't, it doesn't really look good. And that's what we're kind of doing. I think the guys just wanted the ball. We had to make them buy in that you have to, everybody's together. It doesn't matter who scores the goals. And that's what I think we're starting to get a little more buy in. So we had a little ball, better ball movement, more assist. Things were happening a little bit better. Tough to break into the Stevenson lineup as a freshman. Kyle D'Onofrio uh, didn't get a lot of playing time last year. This right. year, uh, he's really starting to step up. Four goals tonight. Already has more goals than he had last season. Uh, what is he doing well, and, and how is he stealing playing well, time? Well, he's such a great off-ball cutter, first of all. you know, and, he, and He's a tough guard. You know, He's 6'1". You know, he's very lanky. He can shoot with either hand and cut with either hand. So he makes it really tough on goalies with how he does it. So, you know, he's coming along. You know, he's he's had a couple big games, played really well in the Roanoke win. So we need him to continue to develop. And he played great. Billy Burgoyne is out today with a sprained ankle. You know, he really stepped up when a senior was out, and he really stepped up and did a good job. Turnovers uh, bit you guys last night, 32 of them. How great yeah. was it to keep it to 10, which is low for you guys uh, where <laughs> you've been averaging Thanks, around Zig. 20? Yeah. You know, well, we turn it over sometimes, but when you play aggressive, it happens. I think tonight we really value the ball. You know, I think some of those turnovers are really in the fourth quarter, too, which is unfortunate. Four of them in the second half, we only had two in the first. We have to control that. And we didn't end the game well. You know, Steve made a poor play. Tony mouthed off, and another kid was talking to him, and the ref called it for whatever reason. You know, we had an unfortunate play at the end there by Taylor Morgan. We just can't do that kind of stuff. We have to make the plays to win. So, so, Cortland played with a lot of class. I thought they did hard. We got to handle the end of the game better. Cortland, you know, we, I give my tip my hat to them. They played hard, and uh, but we got to handle those end of the game situations a lot better. Uh, one end of the game situation. You guys are up ten to nine. Uh, mm -hmm. You get a takeaway on the defensive end. Uh, it got to into Stephen Bannock's stick. I think my call was something like, "What do you do if you're Stephen Bannock? Do you go for the goal <laughs> right. or you play keep away? Is that a situation where you guys want him going to the goal, or well, you want him going to the goal <laughs> yeah. if it goes in? Yeah. Well, you know, it's like one of those no-no, great job. Yeah, you know, so uh, you know, we, we obviously we wanted to be smart. We still had a couple minutes left, so they're going to put the timer on us. So, but we had to make a play and be smart. Steve made a play to get us that two-goal lead, which is huge. You know, and then uh, you know, and then we kind of had to hang on there a little crazy two minutes. Coach, do you have a quick preview of Salisbury for Wednesday? Uh, well, you know, they're a lot like Cortland. You know, they got some good middies. They got some decent attackmen. They face off fairly well. Got a good goalie. So Cortland kind of give us a good idea of what they're about. Uh, we got to go down there and play better. You know, we got to take the next step. You know, they'll be ready for us. Where It's always a, a very emotional game for both schools. We got to withstand that. And, uh, you know, we'll go down there and do the best we can. But obviously, Salisbury is playing their best lacrosse right now. How much is this Green Turtle Classic playing two top ten teams? Back to back, uh, prepare you guys for Wednesday and for the rest of the year. Well, you know we played three top ten teams in five days, so uh, you know I think it prepares us for the season because we play such a tough schedule. We still got to play, you know uh, Salisbury. We got to play Albright, who's six and one right now. Then we got to play. Uh, um, I got to play Lynchburg, who's five and two, playing really well yeah, right they now. They're good. a dangerous team, six and two. So you know we got a lot of tough games, but that's what our schedule prepares us for. Our conference prepares us for the NCAA, and hopefully we'll be in a good shape. So we get used to playing a high level across, and we want to play the best teams. And sometimes when you play the best teams. You're going to lose games, but you know. But we're doing a good job just maintaining our course here, get another solid win here, and we're just moving forward. Coach, thanks for your time. We'll see you Wednesday night. Thanks a lot. That was Mustangs head coach Paul Cantabene at the Green Turtle Classic on SFMSports.net. Back at the Green Turtle Classic, I'm Sid Zweigman with SFMSports.net. Here with Cortland head coach Steve Bevel. Coach, another tough loss for you guys tonight, 11-9 in the hands of Stevenson. If you look at the stat sheet, you guys had more ground balls, more shots on goal. What was the difference in your mind tonight? Well, I think it was the beginning of the game, the, the, you know, the start of the game. They got off quick. Um, you know, Rossi and, uh, and uh, number four, you know, uh, played extremely well early, you know, punched a few in. We started a freshman goalie that, you know, had never – been in one of these moments before, and I think he was rattled early. Stevenson jumped him, and you know that was a huge difference. And, and I think you know they were able to hold on, even though we did uh, you know dominate uh, some parts of the game. That was a great Division Three game, and uh, you know hats off to Stevenson for getting the win. You guys fall behind ten to five. Can you take uh, you know coming back, scoring four straight, making a one goal game late? Can you guys take on that and build uh, as your season continues. 
Well, we've done it about three or four times now, so I'm, I'm a little sick of, uh, you know, taking those, those uh, getting down early and, and coming back all the time. So we, we've got to fix that. You know, we've we got to come out early. Uh, we got to be that team that, that jumps out and gets to an early lead. And I think, uh, you know, we, we've showed some heart. You know, that's a good thing. We did again tonight. But, uh, you know, we've got to take care of the – take care of the ball early, take care of things early in the game, and, and give us a better chance to win. How much does coming to Owings Mills and playing in the Green Turtle Classic help you guys prepare for the rest of the season and the run you hope to go on at the end of the season? Well, it's a great event. I mean, we played two, you know, in my opinion, I, I think Lynchburg may have been 11, but they're outstanding right mm -hmm. now. They're playing great lacrosse and, and uh, you know, being a Southern team. And uh, we've dealt with some weather problems, obviously. But, uh, you know, Stevenson's also a quality team, a top five team. So playing these two games and, and especially playing two in a row, you know, it's pretty brutal, you know, to play uh, two games, uh, you know, within 48 hours. So um, I think this is going to help us conditioning-wise. It's going to help us, uh, you know, attitude-wise, you know, and, and uh, you know, build, build for the uh, uh, rest of the season. Um, we've got some great opponents coming up, you know, in the next few weeks. And I know that Stevenson does as well. So I think we'll be ready. Coach Bevel, we appreciate your time, and uh, best of luck the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. That was Cortland head coach Steve Bevel on sfmsports.net at the Green Turtle Classic.